What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Coding with Robbie. As always, I'm your host Robbie, and in today's video, I got a little less technical one for you. I'm going to be showing you bundles in Shopify. So Shopify recently added first party support for bundles, and this is a huge feature. Forever, you've always had to use a third party app, and uh, it's always been a mess to use because they had to automatically apply coupon codes and do all this fancy stuff that was really hard to work with and had a ton of compatibility issues with other apps. So uh, yeah, you can do it directly with Shopify now and it's a game changer. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, here's kind of the end result right here. So you'll add a product. So for instance, I have this two snowboards bundle and it's gonna add the individual products but kind of show it in this nested fashion. And uh, you can offer it for cheaper so you can do discounts and uh, it's pretty cool. So uh, we'll get started right now. All right, so I got my store pulled up here and we got some snowboarding products. And uh, we're gonna create some bundles right now. So in order to enable bundles on your store, you have to install the Shopify bundles app. So this is made by Shopify and uh, it has some pretty bad reviews, I'm not gonna lie. But it's actually a pretty cool app and I think it's better than the reviews make it out to be. So there's a few requirements in order to use this app. So let's just go through them real quick. Uh, you must be using an online store sales channel uh, or a custom storefront. Uh, you must unpublish all Shopify scripts. So this is kind of a downside of it. If you're using Shopify scripts, which is another app, you can't combine it with that. And this is for Shopify plus stores only. So you likely aren't even using this. Um, and uh, yeah, you can't be using the checkout.liquid. This is another Shopify plus thing where you could customize your checkout page. But they're moving away from this anyway, so if you are using that, I would recommend just getting rid of it unless you had a good reason to. But yeah, I think most of you will meet the requirements, and if you do, you can go ahead and install it. So let's do it. Let's install the app. And it's dead simple to use, so it's going to take us to a page like this. And uh, we can create our first bundle. So let's go create bundle. I'll just call mine two snowboards. And then we select what products that we want to add to the bundle. So let's just go with these two right here. And then you could alter the quantities if you wanted. So maybe the bundle was two of these and uh, one of those. But I'll just do one and one. Let's go save and continue. And this is going to create a special bundle product. So it looks like a normal Shopify product. But if you go down here, you can see it's bundled uh, with these two products. Uh, it automatically calculates the price, which is uh, the combination of these two. And um, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and publish this. We'll go active, save. And let's go check it out on our store. So let's search for it. To snowboards. Here we go right here. Let's go add the cart. And it adds it to cart. And we go to checkout. And you can see we get that nested structure right here. That's pretty cool. And if we wanted to offer this at a discount, it's as simple as uh, changing the price. So we go back here and say, hey, maybe if you buy those two snowboards, it's 3000 instead of the full uh, 3200 or whatever it was. Maybe we'll make that the compare price. Here we go. Let's go back, maybe clear our cart. Refresh and add it and hey now it's three thousand bucks. So we're getting a discount That's pretty cool. And I think that's what most people want to do when they're making bundles So one thing I want to try and I haven't tried this yet is products with variants. So let's give that a try on the spot So, uh, let's see do I have any products with variants? Okay, complete snowboard and uh, E-wax. Let's try that. So let's go back to the app And we'll create another bundle and we'll go uh, complete plus wax. And let's add those products. So here's the wax and where's the complete snowboard right here. So I haven't done this yet. I have a feeling it might not work, but let's see. We'll go save. And it's going to create all the variants, I suppose. When we go back, we still get the bundles. And uh, yeah, it created kind of a combination of all the variants from both products into one. Let's check this out on our store. Let's go back. And uh, let's search for complete plus wax. I'm not seeing it because I didn't publish it. So let's go back and publish. 
There we go, it should activate in just a moment. There we go, it says it's active. Let's try this again, we'll search. Complete. Where is it? Okay, here we go, right here, 709, and uh, here's the wax variance, and here's the snowboard variance. Add the cart, and there we go, it adds it, and we go to checkout, and there we go, we got a bundle with variance also. So pretty cool, um, yeah, if you meet those requirements and you're not using Shopify scripts, I, de bleh, I definitely recommend it. So yeah, no coding in this video, but I hope you enjoyed this and maybe you didn't know about bundles because Shopify doesn't always have a gigantic announcement that everyone sees. So yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe, leave a comment and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.